my friend, I am very thrilled to share with you our living room all decorated for Christmas this year. Now, if you've been following along with my Handmade Christmas Home series, you'll now get a chance to see it all come together in this space. Thank you so much for joining me and allowing me to share a bit of my heart and home with you. Along with sharing my Handmade Christmas Home living room with you today, I have an extra special treat. I am collaborating with several of my dearest blog and YouTube friends as we all open up our homes and share Christmas decorating ideas with you. I can't wait for you to see their homes as well, and I will be sure to link to each tour in the description below. Now first, let me introduce my friends to you just a bit. Now Sarah from Grace in My Space is so inspiring. You will love her channel. One of my favorite videos of hers is where she walks us through decorating for our five senses. I haven't stopped thinking about that video and what she teaches, and I'm just constantly trying to apply the principles that she talked about. She just has such a talent for inspiring and teaching decorating and DIY that I just find myself hanging on to every word. And I know you'll love her tour today as she shares with us a tour of her main living spaces. Now, Andrea from Pine and Prospect Home is also joining us today and sharing a full home tour with decorating ideas. Now, she has already given us a glance at what she has been busy creating in her home this Christmas season in another video I just watched. And I tell you, my jaw hit the floor. <laughs> Every little detail is absolutely dreamy. We all got to see her home in Michigan in person a couple of summers ago, and now she has me wanting to truly visit during Christmas time so I can see it in person. There's just so much beauty and I know you will love touring with Andrea. Now last, but certainly not least, on our Christmas tour group today is Sarah from She Holds Dearly. Sarah, she's just so gifted. Every week I cannot wait to see what she comes up with and shares with us on her channel. She really specializes in making decor easy and attainable even though she is highly skilled and trained. Uh, she actually just launched these lovely design binders, which I snagged up right away. She designed every little detail of this beautiful linen binder inside and out, and it is unlike anything I have ever seen. But of course, you know my love for all things linen, so <laughs> anyway, I think you'll love them too. Sarah is also showing us her living room today, so pop over there as well. All right, let me show you our handmade Christmas home living room and then I will let you go over to my friends channels and enjoy seeing what they have created for us too. Now if you happen to be new here and coming from my friends channels, welcome. I am so glad to have you here. I am Cami and I blog over at tidbits-cami.com on my blog called Tidbits and I have a shop full of linen goods and my infamous <laughs> Tidbits Day Planner that I just launched for 2023. Um, you can shop all the lovely things I've created for you over at tidbitsandcompany.com and I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and connect with me in the comments so I can get to know you. All right, now my biggest goal for decorating this year was to do it while also giving you plenty of handmade, inexpensive Christmas decorating ideas. I've shared several videos this season with a new tutorial and idea a couple times each week since November, and now they're all coming together in this space that feels so cozy and personal to us. I know budgets are a bit tighter this year as our money seems to be buying us less, so I really hoped to inspire you to get creative and enjoy products that hardly cost anything and often could be made with items you already have at home. Now, I also had the goal to make our Christmas decor simple yet transitional. I'm hoping at the end of the Christmas holiday, I can just take down a few things like the tree, um, the nativity, and maybe some of the crispy fresh greens that I've clipped from outside. And then winter core will practically be done. So that was my thoughts. And I've DIY'd some pillows and blankets and pulled from other spaces in our home to just create this blue and white palette that seems fitting for our home when outside is just covered in snow for the next few months. I've actually walked around our 15 acres of property and clipped from evergreen trees to get some of the greens that I've used to fill vases and pottery and to add just a bit of fresh green that we all seem to crave this time of year, along with the most amazing smell that it brings into the home. 
Now, I think the only thing that I bought for the greens was the cedar garland that I grabbed at a grocery store. Since I love cedar, um, they're just not very common in our area as a tree here in Utah, so I bought some. I tucked the cedar in the arrangements I made for like the side tables, my coffee table, um, and a vase on the top of the piano. And I have to get you a close up of this cute bird cage. I found it antiquing recently um, and remembered that we had two plastic white birds from another Christmas up in a tote. So I tucked some greens on top of the birdhouse and I put these two white birds in here and now we have our two turtle doves <laughs> just like that. I think it's so cute. And you might also notice that I've tucked in fresh baby's breath into my arrangements. I love baby's breath because it dries so pretty. So I'm not worried about how it will look throughout the month because I know it'll still be pretty. The little white flowers actually remind me a little of like falling snow. So I've really enjoyed sprinkling them around our home and in with the greens. Now I grabbed like a ton of the large bouquets from Costco because they were such a great deal and I've just tucked them in. I especially love how they look on my mantle with my potted paper whites, which are just beginning to bloom. I think it was about three to four weeks ago, I grabbed any terracotta pots that I had and a few more from Hobby Lobby. Um, the new ones, I tried to give them a bit of an aged fill by simply adding some watered down white paint on the outside. I didn't want them to feel too aged, but just a bit like my old other pots that are actually been naturally aged and used. Then I filled the pots with rocks for drainage and then I grabbed some dirt from our unfinished landscaping. Then I just placed the paper white bulbs into the dirt, root down and tucked in some moss over the top. I love the clustered look of them on the mantle so much and the paper whites have really taken off so fast. Now between the pots, I tucked in some of the fresh cedar garland stems and then I filled it with more baby's breath. I just adore the look and feel like it is actually a pretty unique idea for Christmas if you're looking for something like that. Now I figured once they were, the paper whites were all in bloom, I may actually clip them and then swap the look by taking the blooms and putting them on, in jars on the mantle. I think that will transition us really nice into January. Now also on the mantle, I've hung our quilted linen stockings that I sell in my Tidbits and Company shop. I designed this style and then my mother-in-law and sister-in-law have lovingly sewn them up. I feel like they are absolute heirloom quality with pure 100% linen on the inside and the out. Now linen just gets better and better with age. So these stockings should be perfect to pass down through the generations. We have five colors available, um, including these three that you see in my mantle. I use the creamy white, the old world blue and the flax linen. I also have like a deep burgundy red color and a farmhouse green color. Those are the ones that I used last year and I thought they looked beautiful together. I also have a selection of vintage Christmas art that I like to swap out on our frame TV through the month, which makes this whole area just even more fun and beautiful. All right, let's take a look at the Christmas tree. We usually cut down a tree from the mountains and we still might for another space in our home I'm thinking about decorating, but I felt a desire this year to get a big, full, fresh tree, something that my kids actually haven't had, but was pretty typical for my childhood. So we grabbed this real tree from um, Home Depot when we were there one day. And if I'm being honest, I kind of miss the sparse tree from the mountains. <laughs> this just is shaped to perfection that it actually looks fake to me. And we really like the character of real trees. So I'm not sure I will do a department store tree again, but it does look lovely. Um, you can see all the handmade ornaments that I've made this year with my kids and shared on my channel. We have the terracotta and clay ornaments that we made from the wooden cookie molds. The garland is made out of sheet music that we aged with milk and made into a paper chain. And we have the yarn wrap stars and the origami stars that were really a hit on Instagram. But I think my favorite ornament is the paper angels we made. I've tucked in uh, ribbon and bows, both velvet and chiffon ribbon. The star on top is just a stick star that my son and I made last year. I've also tucked in more baby's breath into the tree, which really added so much and is possibly my favorite touch. Now, through the month, we'll also add the mini stockings and the names of Christ gift tags. 
that I made that we will remove from our countdown ladder. So this tree will be full and very memorable for us by the time we take it down. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, we potted the tree in an outdoor planter that we've had for years. It was really the perfect blue since that was kind of um, in my color palette this year. Hubs was pretty inventive in figuring out how to keep the fresh tree in there. Now, so far we have no gifts under the tree. We've decided as a family to only do handmade gifts this year. And none of us are quite done with them yet <laughs> to get them wrapped up for this tour, but that is just fine with me because we are so enjoying all the decorations I've added and we know the gifts will come. Now, if you would like to hear more about our decision to do only handmade gifts this year, I did a whole video on that at the beginning of the season and how we're doing Christmas quite a bit differently this year, hoping to really focus um, our family's hearts on what the season is really about for us, which is Jesus Christ and of course giving to others. Well, that about sums up our living room space. I hope you have enjoyed seeing our handmade Christmas home come together. I may sprinkle in other decor and other spaces in my home and share it, but really my priority is to enjoy the rest of the season with my family at this point. Um, so we will see what else I can pull together for you. But if you are loving my style and need more, check out your past tours. I did a little women theme uh, last year, which was so much fun. And before that, I've done more of a European old world farmhouse vibe, which is actually the style of our pole barn home that we've built, built ourselves and my favorite style for the time being. Anyway, thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. I do wish you a wonderful Christmas season and we'll surely be back to share more inspiration for the keeper of the home and for your handmade Christmas home. Thanks again for watching and we will talk very soon.